Who did Dave see? What? Did you not just hear that? Something just knocked on this wall right here. There, there's something about this hallway here that I don't know if freaks people out or there's just something that goes on down here. I can't see anything, but I just feel like there's someone in front of me or next to me. You just can feel that there is more here than just you. Whoa. What? I just had, when I walked right over here, I heard a man's voice go, hey. Oh no. I was the first one to come out. I come out and I looked down there and I saw a shadow figure standing down there. Whoa. What? I just saw somebody, literally just saw somebody standing right there. All right, Dave, so we are standing outside of the Grafton School. Yes, we are. We're here in Grafton, Ohio. Uh, we've been invited out by Greg Fiketic and the owner of this building to come and film and do a, a little investigation here tonight. Yeah, this school was opened in 1936 and operated until about 2005, but there's a lot of unexplained activity here inside this building, according to Greg Fiketic the founder of Tri-C Ghost Hunters, and apparently this building has been known for the shadow figures that have been wandering this location. Even Greg himself has seen a shadow figure in this building, and when we get in there, I'm gonna to wanna to talk to him about that and find out exactly what he saw and where. With, uh, you know, we were doing a little bit of research on the place and you had said over 200,000 children were schooled here, educated here. Yeah. That's hard to believe. I mean, this is a massive building, but to think over a period of about 70 years, 200,000 children came through these doors to get an education. Yep. And let alone intelligent hauntings, you think about the residual energy that could be left behind in a building that busy and in a building that important to the community. So I'm ready to get inside this school and I'm excited to spend the night here to see what we can pick up on. Me too. It's uh. It's been a while since we've investigated a school, so. It has been, I don't think we've ever investigated a school this foreboding and creepy looking. No, uh-uh. So I'm excited to get in here and see what we can capture. Let's do it. Let's do it. This huge empty school, once loud and busy, now sits in silence. But does any part of this building's past still replay itself? That's what we're here to find out tonight. But first, we have to find out from the owner if she has ever experienced anything paranormal in the old Grafton school and how this massive structure came to be in her possession. I decided I wanted to buy it because I didn't want to see it torn down. And that started in 2009 when I saw it was for sale and I thought it'd make a beautiful, wonderful artist studios, arts and culture center. And that's where the journey started. The history of the building is it's a WPA building, built in 1935. It's on the His National Historic Register of Historic Places. Um, there's 56,000 square feet in this building. Closed down in 2008 was the last time that uh, anyone was here. The students were here in 2005. Then the superintendent moved in and re uh, renovated the south wing. They were here for two years and then they closed the whole thing down. And the strange thing is too, I mean, th this is the, the oldest part of the building, the, that area we just came from. Now we're gonna head to one of the, the newer parts. And which area do you think is the most active? I would say the hallway that we're gonna be going down and upstairs on the second floor above us. Greg Fiketic and his team, Tri-C Ghost Hunters, are some of the most trusted and experienced paranormal investigators in the field today. And apparently the old Grafton School gave Greg one of his most profound paranormal experiences in all his years of research. What was your, uh moment that you finally realized and knew that this place was actually active? 
Uh, it, it's funny. It, it's when uh, we came here for a day tour. Uh, my wife, Kathy, wasn't here for our first investigation. So we came here and uh, happened to see a shadow figure. There, there's something about this hallway here that uh, I don't know if freaks people out or there's just something that, that goes on down here. So here we are, we're in the kindergarten area. Now, we were in this room right uh, in front of me here. And th this was actually during the day. This is actually during the day. And it was my wife, Kathy, and the owner of the building. Uh, we were in here and we came out. I was the first one to come out. I come out and I looked down there and I saw a shadow figure standing down there. And for people that know me, there's a logical reason for everything. So my first thought was, it's like, mm, that's my imagination. I'm seeing things. So I just blew it off. Well, my wife, Kathy, came out and the owner came out and they looked down there and they were like, oh, you guys see that figure standing down there? And I was like, oh crap. Maybe <laughs> I did see something, but uh, apparently we all saw this shadow figure standing. I mean, right now the doors are open, all the doors were closed, and it was just standing down there. And it wasn't at night, it was during the day. So that was kind of crazy. And there is a maintenance guy that does work here. So uh, the owner immediately got on the phone with him to see if maybe that was him but he wasn't in the building and the building's locked so nobody else can get in. I've been inv investigating for 30 years. Uh, that's only the second shadow person I've ever seen. So, and that was my second time here in the building. Wow. You, you just can feel that there is more here than just you. I think it's probably children that have come back I know for sure one is the maintenance man because he is always in the gymnasium going up and down the steps. The fact that this was so important to so many young people that uh, I think they just come back here when they die. When I first bought the building, um, whenever I'd walk in, I'd always start talking and saying what I was going to do. And for the first year, they would open the windows and I'd come back in and I'd close the windows. I'd come back the next day, they'd be open. And this went on for a year. So I think they were just testing my metal to see if I really was good enough. <laughs> and I think I, I passed. When we were coming through earlier, I was telling uh, Carly that this was the one area in here that uh, kind of freaked me out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that, that was going to be my next story, too. Oh, okay. So let's go in here, because this is where we're at when stuff happens in there. So this is uh, was once the cafeteria. And the first time that we investigated here, people were in here, and they kept hearing like a door shutting in the kitchen area. So they would go in there, try to debunk it, try to figure out what, what it was. They, they couldn't uh, recreate it. Well, last Sunday, we were here investigating, and there again, me, I'm a skeptic. Everything has a logical explanation. At least I try to find logical explanations. I don't immediately think paranormal. So we're all standing in here. Here it sounds like a door shut in there. Now, there is an exterior door from the kitchen that goes outside that's in a fenced in area and it was not windy that night. So people keep hearing door slam in that area. Now also during that night too, I didn't hear it, but the way I understand it is that there was a lot of movement in the hallways, uh, like some, something or somebody was walking up and down the, the hall. You could hear he heavy footsteps. Other searchers have told me they've heard the piano playing upstairs. Um, now we have pianos down on the first floor that were left over, but the old band room was upstairs. So they had heard a piano up there. There was another uh, group that had 
explored and they actually have it on a um, video of a person, a man in a fedora walking in front of the school. Um, just as plain as day, there he is walking on the outside um, and no one was there. He went running outside to see you know, who was there and there was no one. There's always four types of locations that seem to always be haunted. You have your prisons and jails. You have uh, theaters. You have hospitals and you have schools, colleges, universities, elementary schools, high schools. It's almost every state has haunted schools. Yeah. And my, I believe that there's a lot of energy. There doesn't have to be any deaths or anything like that. There's just a lot of energy in those locations, good and bad. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, I think a lot of it could be residual here. Uh, since there was a lot of, you know, kids coming and going and teachers and, uh, you know, whoever. It's just there's a lot of energy. And will uh, will you join us and investigate a little bit tonight? Oh, sure, sure. Awesome. I'd be more yeah. than happy to. Well, Dave, you ready to get things ready to go? The sun is pretty much actually very much down now. I am ready to get started, yes. So let's set up some equipment and let's get started. Let's do it. All right. Recording abandonment. Okay, I set that up, I hit record. All right. Heading up the stairs here, heading to the second floor of the old Grafton School. Yes, we are. And I am rolling on this camera from what Greg and his wife Kathy told us. This hallway is the most active part of the building. The second floor hallway is the most active part of the building. So I'm really excited to get up here and get started. We're gonna set this camera that I'm rolling on right now, this camera right here. We're going to set this up on a tripod and then we're going to start investigating and see where the activity takes us.
you smell that? Right here. I smell, this is gonna sound weird, but I smell popcorn butter. I don't smell anything. <laughs> I literally got a whiff of like, like someone was putting popcorn butter on, like almost like the movie theater popcorn butter. Did you hear that? What'd you hear? It was like movement right here. In the in this classroom? No, like right here. Really? I did not hear that, but hopefully the camera did. Popcorn butter on, like almost like the movie theater popcorn butter. Did you hear that? Like almost like the movie theater popcorn butter. Did you hear that? Let me set this up down here. This would be a good spot to start with, I guess. Yeah. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up. Like I said, it makes really bright colors and a lot of sound. So if you want to try and let us know you're here, you can do that by touching this thing. What was that? I don't know, but I definitely heard that. Whoa. Did you hear that voice? Yes. That sounded like a little kid's voice. I'm gonna look at it on the street. Okay. That sounded very clearly like a little kid's voice. Whoa. Did you hear that voice? Yes. Whoa. Did you hear that voice? Yes. Not a soul? Nobody is out there. I still have absolutely no idea where that smell came from. Yeah, that's weird. But again, that's something that people think of as like residual energy. You know, like you smell things that may have happened. And this is a school where young children went to school and I bet you they had popcorn. I still have absolutely no idea where that smell came from. Yeah, that's weird. But again, that's something that people think of as like residual energy. I still have absolutely no idea where that smell came from. Yeah, that's weird. But again, that's something that people think of as like residual energy. But for any children that are here, there's also this right here. If you stand right in front of this door that's open, this music box will play music for you. Just like that. Or you can touch that red light down there that's sitting in the middle of the hallway for us. And that'll light up pretty colors and make a sound for us. If there are any spirits here with us, can you knock on wherever your locker was at when you were here? Which one of these lockers was yours? Whoa. What? Is he up here? Dude. I just saw somebody, literally just saw somebody standing right there. Where? Like, Door. Right here, this tall, kind of wide, just like this. 
Dave just saw a shadow standing in the hallway, and his first thought was that Greg had decided to join us early. But it was not Greg, and no one is standing where Dave saw this figure. In these situations, all you can do is hope that you captured the shadow on camera. But cutting back and forth between these shots, it's obvious that I was standing directly in front of where Dave saw this shadow, and my infrared camera light is blinding the static cam making it impossible to see down the hallway. Even though we didn't capture this shadow on camera, seeing it standing there watching us has really put Dave on edge. The whole experience has made him very uncomfortable in this second floor hallway. I thought it was Greg. That camera probably would have picked it up. That was creepy. Maybe. Leave it. Oh. What is it? Men's bathroom. Hmm. Who did Dave see? What? Did you not just hear this? Was that a hiss? No. Something just knocked on this wall right here. Uh oh. Who did Dave see? What? Who did Dave see? What? Did you not just hear that? Was that a hiss? No, something just knocked on this wall right here. I didn't hear that, no. Who was it that Dave saw? Was it the janitor? I don't know, man. It was just kind of like they were leaning up like this, just listening to us talk over there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just saw a man standing right here leaning up against this wall. If you're up here with us, there's a little red light right there in the middle of the floor. Can you go touch that and let us know you're here? I'm kind of a little bit on edge. In no. here. Really? Yeah. If you want, you can follow us on down this way. Or you can stay here and play with that stuff. Yeah. It's so weird to think about, like, right now it's completely dark and this building is completely empty, but to think how busy this whole school would have been in the time that it was open. Yeah. And just so people can see the, uh, the light that our cameras are seeing in is infrared light. It's night vision. We cannot see it with our eyes. This is what we see right now. It is completely dark. We walked all the way down here. So if you want to, try and make that little red light go off down there. So if you want to, try and make that little red light go off down there. So if you want to, try and make that little red light go off down there. I just got a cold breeze go by me here. On your left side? Right side. Yeah. Why? Because something just flew right by your left side. Really? Yeah. No, it was like right here by my right hand. There's no open windows right now. They've got the whole win the whole building either windowed up or, you know, the windows that aren't able to be sealed, they boarded them up. Yeah, this place is secure. So, whatever that was, I don't know. It was like a moving air mass on my right side here that was cold, ice cold. That is very strange. Isn't this the old side of the school down here? This is the new side of the school on that end. Yeah, we were, yeah, we're on the new side. The old side starts right here, right? Where the stairwell is, I think. Which is right here. Yeah, so you're getting ready to walk into the old. This is the old half of the school right here. Ooh, yeah. 
cross that threshold and tell me you don't feel that. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. Whoa. Dude, I just got a cold blast of air in my face. Who's here with us? If you're here, can you touch that red light or step in front of that door for us? feel air on the back of my neck right now. That was like a strong gust of wind on my face. I believe it. But you didn't feel anything? No. Because if it was a draft, you would have felt it too. I didn't feel anything until just now. Greg is with us now and we're going to walk down here to the area where he and Kathy and Carly all Carly. saw the shadow figure walk across the hallway. Uh, we were in here and we came out. I was the first one to come out. I come out and I looked down there and I saw a shadow figure standing down there. Well, my wife Kathy came out and the owner came out and they looked down there and they were like, oh, you guys see that figure standing down there? We're gonna do an Estes spirit box session once we get down here. Cool. Okay. Headphones are on. Can you hear me? And I am sweeping. All right, so Greg and I are in the cafeteria here. And Ryan is sitting out in the hallway. Doing the session, and we're going to be asking questions. Who keeps shutting the door in the kitchen? If there are spirits listening to our questions, we'd like you to give your answers to Ryan right over here in the hallway. You can use the radio to give him your answer to our question. Or if you don't want to answer any of the questions, can you shut one of the doors down here? I just heard like a female laugh. It was very distant though. Can you please tell us what your name is? Nobody's in trouble. You're allowed to come out and speak with us. Carly said that we were allowed in here this evening. Sounded like a man said, hey there. Do you know the young man that works in this building right now? If you do, can you tell me his name? What's his name? His name is Anthony. If he gives us Anthony. Can you go over here and tell Ryan the name Anthony? Can you repeat after me? Can you say the kitchen? What was that? Yeah. Did that sound like car door? There's this is the fenced in area here. Oh yeah, that's right. So that sounded close. It did. What 
was that? What was that? I mean, it's a little bit louder than the sounds that we've heard. It always comes back from the kitchen area. You want to walk back in there for a sec? Yeah. We're going to walk back into the kitchen here. If that's an issue, make sure you go let Ryan know. You haven't uh, given Ryan any of our messages or answered any of our questions. Can you tell him what the name of this school is? Can you walk right down the hallway here and tell Ryan what my name is? My name is Dave. Hi again. That's the response to, didn't you say, hi, my name is Dave? Earlier, yeah. Wait, didn't you just say that just right now? Oh yeah, I told him to go tell him my name is Dave. And I said hi. Yeah. This isn't a spirit box voice, but I just feel like there's someone around me. I have my hat over my eyes and I can't really, I can't see anything, but I just feel like there's someone in front of me or next to me. Ooh, a man's voice just came through there. If you're standing down there by Ryan, behind him on the steps, there's a bright orange light. Can you go try and pick that up? If you're wanting to let him know that you're there. Are you the janitor? It's a deep man's voice, I'm not sure what it said. Are you upset that we're down here talking to you? Oh, yeah. Buddy. What do you say? Buddy or fight or something. Are you upset that we're down here talking to you? Oh, yeah. Are you upset that we're down here talking to you? Oh, yeah. I mean, there, there's no breeze here at all. No. Nothing. You are? And that's increasing along with what he's here. Yeah. All right. Do you want us here? Can you tell Ryan if you want us here? He's sitting right down there in a chair in the hallway and he has a radio that you can use like a microphone to say what you want. I thought I just felt something touch my left shoulder. Was that you? It was like a poke right here on my shoulder. Yeah. Guys, we're hearing stuff over this way, and Ryan is having stuff happen to him. There's something about this kitchen I don't want. Me either, and I told I told Carly that earlier, walking down through here. And... Are you a, are you a cook? Well, yeah. There's no heat in the building. Whoa. What in the world? <laughs> Guys, we keep hearing it just sounds like... It's a man's voice. It sounded like he said dead, maybe? Dead. That's not what I think he said dead. There's no heat in the building. Whoa. What in the world? 
There's no heat in the building. Whoa. What in the world? I still feel something on my left side. What was that? It kind of sounded like a musical instrument or like a band or something. What was that? I'm gonna stand up here. I'm gonna try and experiment for a second. We're coming back into the cafeteria. If you don't like that, go tell Ryan. Are you upset that we're in here? If you don't like us being in here, make a really loud sound, let us know. Oop, that was me, coming back to the chair. Let me take the headphones off for a second. It's did, pretty quiet so far. Did you just make like a knocking noise out there? Yeah, I was coming back down the stairs because I stood up and walked up to the The tea. stairs, that way? Yeah. No, we heard it over here. Yeah. We've been hearing a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Been here in the kitchen. Not too, too much was relevant to question and answer, but the noises we've been hearing in here. Huh. Yeah, and it was weird when I was sitting over that, when I was sitting in the hallway, it was like, I had my hat pulled down over my eyes, so I had, it was like a blindfold like you're supposed to do with the Estes method. Right. And... I couldn't see, obviously, but it was like I felt someone in proximity to me. Right, you can, you can feel somebody. Yeah, it was like someone was right in front of me staring into my face. In an attempt to pull out the energy of the old Grafton school, Greg has the idea to play an audio clip of children laughing and talking. It was the most common sound within the halls of this school, and when the audio clip is played, something very strange happens. You guys want to come out and play? You guys want to come out and play? Whoa. What? I just, did, did someone say hey on that? Oh gosh, I don't know. On that voice right there with the kids laughing, it was I mean, like they, they were saying a bunch of different things. Well, no, it was like a man's voice, like a deep man's voice. No, no, they, these were kids playing. I just had when I walked right over here, I heard a man's voice go, "Hey." Oh no! This voice that I heard through the headphones was captured very clearly by the digital audio recorder, and it still sends chills up my spine. Take a listen and hear for yourself. Whoa. 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 Are you here with us? I have chills. Yeah. <laughs> Can you run down the hallway here? Are you the janitor that we keep having interactions with tonight? Whoever's here, do you like Greg? Is he your buddy? I thought I heard you say buddy through the box. Is he your friend? Come and look at all the neat stuff they have. Look at that bright light on the steps over there. Go check that out. Go try to pick it up. It's like it's falling completely quiet. Yeah. So I'm telling you, Ryan, when you were running that, I mean, it was, what, every 20 seconds? Yeah, it seemed like it. 
What was that? Do you see that? I heard a boot step. It was like a baboon. Did you Did you hear that? I didn't hear it. No, through the headphones. But I thought I kept seeing a light behind Dave. But you heard that, Dave, right? Yeah, I heard like a baboon. That I heard a. Bo- Twenty seconds. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like it. What was that? What was that? You don't have to be afraid of us. Ooh. Did you see that? I heard something. Right. Did you just... Was that a light down a light. there? A light. Did yes. you see that light? That's, yeah, that's what I saw earlier, too. It's like a light that went across the hallway from right to, or from right to left. Yeah, I, I, I did see that. Now, I don't, I don't see too much on my investigations. I guess I'm like closed up a little, but I definitely saw that. And I heard the boom too, Dave. I heard that sound. Yeah, that sounded sound like it was right in front of Greg there. Yeah. Who's the light that we're seeing down there at the end of the hallway? Can you come out again and show us? Now's your chance if you want to show us how how you would come down here to the cafeteria and we're giving you permission to cause mischief, to touch things that make lights and noise and to talk as much as you want. School's over. You guys can come out into the hall now. We don't know how to communicate with you, so we're trying a bunch of different things in the hopes that you will do or can do one of those. The easiest thing to do is if you see those lights, I don't know if you can see in color or how you see, but uh, there's lights at the end of each hall here. The easiest thing to do is just go stand by it, try to pick it up. It won't hurt you. On many of our investigations, we found out that at a certain point in the night, the unexplained activity just stops. If paranormal activity is dependent on energy, then it would make sense that the activity would slow or stop once the energy sources are expended. Or maybe they just got bored with messing with us. But either way, this hallway fell silent. No more noises. What was that? No more voices. Whoa. Whoa. So we decide to move to the gymnasium where Carly told us that the maintenance man is known to hang out. You guys ready to play some basketball? Can you please come out and speak with us? But it's so quiet and nothing we do seems to draw out any of the paranormal activity. We got a break, folks. We got a break. Oh, look at that. Did you just shoot a basketball in near complete darkness? A brick and make it? That, that was pretty good. Now that deserves somebody to do something, right? But everything is silent. Even when Dave and I split up on separate floors for solo missions, it doesn't seem like anyone wants to talk to us. I do just want to say thank you for letting us come in here tonight and talk to you. There's a box in my hand right here that you should be able to use to talk to me. We can't forget how active this investigation was at the beginning of the night. This is going to sound weird, but I smell popcorn butter. Whoa. What? I just saw somebody literally just saw somebody standing right there. It would seem that the old Grafton school still remembers its long history, and all of that energy from the students and staff is still trapped here, replaying itself for anyone who will listen. If you'd like to see Carly save the old Grafton school and turn it into an art and cultural center, here's how you can help.
If you're interested in booking an investigation here at the Historic Grafton School, you can go to the Tri-C Ghost Hunters website, that's tcghohio.org, and we have a link there where you can find out more information about this school and where you can book your private hunts. Also, in the description below, there will be a link for the Historic Grafton School GoFundMe. Remember everyone to support the old Grafton School. Make sure you go down to the link in the description, check out their fundraiser to help restore and make this beautiful building into the cultural center and art studio that Carly has in mind, that Carly has dreamed up for this place. So also remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications. Remember to hit that thumbs up button. Remember to share this video with your friends and family. And if any of you out there are interested in behind the scenes live streams, uh, photos, videos, uh, exclusive content, be sure to join our Patreon or become a member of the channel. And if you'd like to watch us live stream publicly, go subscribe to our second channel because that is where we will be doing the live streams from now on. And we hope you all enjoyed this video. We hope you all enjoyed this investigation and we will see you in the next video.